Hi, I'm James, and today I'm working on this, which is a HP 17-X 013NA laptop. And the first thing that we are going to need to do is to push in these two tabs. So this one, which unlocks the battery, and then this one, which releases it. With that done, our next job is to go around and remove all the screws from the base of the system. As I take these out, I just leave them arranged to the side in the same order that they were removed. two screws are actually accessed by punching through uh, this piece here on the base so it will be obvious if you have opened up the machine any of these are going to be out of warranty now anyway um, but just be aware that the fact the machine has been opened up will be noticeable uh, obviously you could potentially lift and peel this sticker um, but most likely you are going to damage it or at least make it obvious in the process. We also have a pair of hidden screws by peeling up these two feet on the base of the laptop and the other side once these are removed we need to turn over our laptop and take our pry tool, pressing it into the gap between the base of the machine and the touchpad, this, uh, the base of the machine and the palm rest. This is quite easy to see, uh, obviously because on this machine of the contrasting colors. And we can run this around pressing in. So releasing all of these clips, then turn the machine over. And the best way then to remove the base is we're going to start on the optical drive side. Just make sure these clips around the optical drive are out. And then we can peel the base this way so it lifts it out from these ports on the edge. Once inside, we see that we have one DIM slot free of the two, as this came with a single DIM fitted, and we also have the hard drive here. To install an additional DDR3 DIM, we can take our module, slot it in, and press down so that it clips into place like so. If these don't push out, you can just pull these legs out and same to remove pull the legs out and pull the module out to do the hard drive what we're going to do is we're replacing this with a solid state drive so we want to lift this connector here and peel back this ribbon connector and just put something on it to hold it out the way while we work to then remove the hard drive we can lift up these two pieces of rubber with them removed, we can then slide the hard drive back and away from the SATA connector and to fit our SSD, we are going to find, so this SSD didn't come with a spacer but I do have some available. So we need a spacer to bring it up to the same thickness as the original drive. That just means it won't move in this mounting. And we are then just going to peel the mounting 
rubber off the old drive, slot in the SSD in its place, make sure that is correctly orientated so flip it over, slide it into the SATA connector, press it down and insert those two pieces of rubber. We can then run this little IO board connector across and refit it as so, as so. Now if we wanted to replace the wireless module that is fairly easily done. We have just our pair of aerial leads which can be unclipped, a single screw and with that removed we can slot out the module and then to replace simply slot back into place, screw back down and finally reattach the two antenna And with all that done, we are now ready to reassemble the laptop. So our first thing to do is to take the base panel and again, pressing down on this side first, make sure it is in over the ports on this side. We then are going to go around, clipping the panel back into place. We can lift and make sure that the front edge is clipped in. Having done this, we can reinsert our optical drive and then all that is left to do is to refit the screws into the base of the machine. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, adding an SSD particularly to this machine really helps uh, boost its longevity. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do hit the like button. If you have any questions about any of the work done or parts used, then do ask me in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.